and we are celebrating the visit of Sybil from California and Betty I'm coming funny. from Canada to California to the world traveler here <laughs> <laughs> to Florida to spend a few days with us and Auntie Doris here and Sammy and who else? Sylvia, my mom and dad. Bert and Saul are late. And Pauline and Hi were here yesterday, but they didn't stay long enough, so they're not here. And uh, we're having a uh, dinner. All right. What have you been doing, Beth? Nothing much. Trying Not to spend much. some money. money. And uh, my visit to California. I've never seen so much rain in all my <laughs> life. But it's a lovely place. Yeah. And uh, Manny and Sybil are just great. Oh. Now I've come to visit Shirley and... Amy and Dora and Sammy and Sylvia, Dolly and Bert and Ronnie and uh, I hope I did Shirley yeah. and um, and the weather here is just beautiful. I hate the thought of going back to all the snow. But hey, yeah, well, I'm glad I'm here celebrating with my sister from California. I've never had a dinner. Now that she's here, I'm getting free dinners. Uh, and it's the first time she came here, you see. Otherwise, I don't get no dinners. And I, I can't wait till she's ready to come again so I can get some more free meals. <laughs> we're having a damn good time on account of her visitors. Wish you were here. And I, oh, please stay longer. I'd like them to. Well, we talk about sunny California, but I can't talk about that this time. Sunny Florida. It's yeah. just beautiful here. Eighteen of us of our family are here. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Great to be here. Yeah. We did. Manny counted the other day. Yeah. Day, and I'm having a lot of fun. Thanks a million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here. Why did I come? Manny, would you would have come. Thanks, Manny, for sending our visitors, Sybil and Betty. And uh, they spent uh, some money today. We showed them all the bargains. <laughs> Bargoons. And the weather here is beautiful. I can't say the same about your place. That's why I'm not in California. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I hope to see that place someday without the rain. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sylvia, it's your turn. I'm on the job, so wait. I'll be right out. All right, I'll wait for you. I was sleeping five to a bed, three three on top, two on the bottom. Oh, the camera's that way. Yeah, just a minute. Let me see. Man, let's see. Whoever used to get in there first used to be able to sleep up up straight. Otherwise, you had to be across to the bottom. I used to. I used to go in sleeping this way, and I wake up in the morning, I'd be down at the bottom, across the bottom. I think that somebody made me a little turn, and give me a little, uh, yeah, what else? That's, that's all I can remember. Yes, I can. And I remember that uh, my father-in-law at that time came down to the landing and said, how long is he going to stay here? 
That was the first time I went there. So my wife said, oh, don't bother. He'll go back upstairs. About 15 minutes later, I went home. <laughs> and that was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Can't remember. Remember what? Oh, I see. What was Sammy like when she was a little girl? Well, let me see. Oh, I can't remember what she was like. I honestly can't. What were you like? Me? Oh, I was, oh, I was a devil. I was, I was bad. You're not asking me why I was bad? Yeah. Well, you know what happened? I remember when we were getting ready to go for a holiday. We lived upstairs from our grandparents. And there was a bunch of us, as you well know. My mother said that Sybil was a very popular baby and all the neighbors would like to have her stay at home, at their place. So my mother said to me, go down and pick Sybil up from my grandparents. We thought she was there. So I went out and I was mad because she sent me down. I stayed outside and went back into the house and said, she's sleeping. We went to sleep. The next morning, my mother went down to pick the baby up from my grandparents. She was not there. And we were frantic. You don't remember that? We were frantic. Apparently, Sybil had taken us a walk. She must have been about two years old. She had gone out and got lost, went for an ice cream cone. She got lost. She landed up in the police station. And she was there all night. Well, don't tell what I got. We were ready to go on the boat to go for our holiday, and we were going like mad, looking all over for, for Sybil. We went to the police station, and did my mother get bawled out? They wanted to know what kind of a woman she was to let a child stay in the police station all night. Well, I'll tell you, just think. Nine people trying to get in the bathroom at one time. That's, <laughs> that's your answer. That's the story of East Avenue. That's right. <laughs> we used to take numbers to go into the bathroom. <laughs> From one, one to ten. The ten was for whoever walked in, any guest. Whoever slept over there. What was Fanny like as a little girl? What was Fanny like when she was a little girl? I don't know how I could tell you that. I wasn't around <laughs> when she was a little girl. <laughs> I can't answer that. All I can tell you is that she grew up pretty fast. <laughs> Any other questions? That's all? Well, I can't tell you no more. <laughs> you remember? You remember when you got engaged? Well, I really, uh, didn't I didn't get a ring, yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't get a ring. I phoned you. Oh, yeah, you phoned, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a ring. When did he ask you to marry? Oh, when he came over from Scotland. And I, I said I was too young, and I'll wait for my sister Dora get. <laughs> but my sister Dora wasn't going anyway, so we thought uh, it would take too long. <laughs> He wasn't going with anybody. Okay, what else? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me which one of the kids were the, were the easiest to handle. Yeah, give me the answer. The answer? I would say Norma. Why? I don't know, she was the quietest. Because the other two were devils, and they used to run, and I couldn't catch them, so I caught Norma, she got it. But when we got engaged, Oh, when we both were at school, and uh, I, I proposed to her, so uh, that's when we got engaged. Why did you propose? Because I liked her. She appealed to me very much, and uh, I knew the.